I am loved. I am special. I am enough. I am doing my best. We all are. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and Sissy is a nice little mean satirical slasher movie from Australia that was written and directed by Hannah Barlow and Kane Scenes. If you happen to live in Vienna, I highly recommend checking out the wonderful Slash Film Festival that celebrates all kinds of different movies from the realm of the fantastical. And of course, it's also showing Sissy in a few days. If you're not in Vienna, the movie can be watched on the American streaming service Shudder at the end of the month. Sissy tells the story of the young woman Cecilia, played by Aisha D, a rather successful mental health influencer who from the get-go seems a bit on the edge herself. She certainly seems lonely and as if she's having a hard time applying the assistance that she tries to give to strangers to herself as well. And since she's obviously also doing some advertisement for some scent or something, there's also something fake and fishy about this whole influencer thing as well. Even if her intentions are good and she really does want to help people. But more so, she needs it for herself, to cope with the trauma she endured as a young girl, when she wasn't Cecilia yet, but little innocent Sissy, who happened to be best friends in the world with Emma, as we can see in the many times the movie cuts back to when they were just 13 years old. Something bad happened then, something that has to do with bullying. And when Emma, played by the co-director Hannah Barlow, happens to reappear in Cecilia's life after more than a decade, Old wounds are reopened and the Bachelorette weekend, that also includes Cecilia's former bully, turns very dark and very violent. But also quite comical as Hannah Barlow and Kane Scenes bring a certain dark satirical vibe to their material. The whole presentation is heightened and seems to be at home in that glossy social media world, where everything is pretty pretty and also a little bit fake, which also goes for the cast of people around Cecilia. It's quite refreshing that the film presents this very diverse group of people who can still be pretty horrible. Or it's not really that they are super horrible, maybe with the exception of the bully from the past, but they are just not very welcoming and empathetic at all. Cecilia doesn't really get a chance in this group and everyone already has made up their mind or they are just too absent and distracted by some other shit. Which is why it's such a delight to see them get picked up one by one in the second half. The pacing works well and Sissy becomes a full-fledged slasher, still with a comedic touch though. And still, it doesn't lose its at least slightly empathetic portrayal of this troubled young woman. The movie makes fun of the oftentimes phony mental awareness obsession and still has compassion for our lead. And it certainly helps that Aisha D gives a really good performance, constantly being torn between her past and present, between wanting to belong and wanting to lash out. And lashing out she does, as the movie has some really nice little crowd pleasing moments of violence. And it also has some nice visual touches, like for example a very haunting painting on the wall or the sparkly glitter that's applied to Cecilia's nails, glitter that can also be found in the night sky or on the windows of the apartment they are in. An element that was a little bit overbearing to me though was the use of music, or the kind of music they use. It was a bit stressful in a way that didn't completely fit for me and it's also mixed up quite loudly, making some of the dialogue hard to understand. Not a big criticism, but it was noticeable several times. I think some other musical choices might have worked better in giving the film an even stronger, darker, fresher or also more badass vibe. But I don't know. I know though that I want to give a special mention to the actor who plays the young Cecilia in the flashbacks. Amelia Lul is really making a difference through her lovely portrayal, which is also quite important to make us relate to the character of Cecilia. So, in German I'd say, Sissy ist ein kleiner, böser, schwarzhumoriger Horrorfilm, der dem allseits bekannten und beliebten Slasher-Genre noch was schönes, frisches und thematisch aktuelles beisteuert. I give Sissy 7 out of 10. It's more like 7.1, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always, comment below and let me know what you think about Sissy. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd and also on Patreon, simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.